folks, this is Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to do another product review, but this time it's going to be an app uh, review, because um, I got this question on one of my earlier YouTube videos, so thanks for the feedback. If you have questions, it could inspire new videos, of what if you have a red screen on your phone, or maybe your TV, or your... Um, uh, you know, laptop monitor or your computer monitor. What if you, you know, have a fully red screen? Is that going to give you red light therapy? And uh, that's a great question. <laughs> My knee-jerk reaction would be like, no. Obviously, it can't give you red light therapy, photobiomodulation, um, where, you know, the, the red light is specifically giving you some sort of benefit or modulation. Um, but you know what? That's my knee-jerk reaction. And I run a red light therapy business. So maybe I'm biased. And if it's true you can get red light therapy from your screens, uh, I'd be out of business. So that's my bias. So the only way, you know, we jump to conclusions sometimes. And obviously I have experience and I have some logic that would tell me you can't get red light therapy from a phone or a screen. Um, but sometimes it's best just to test your assumptions, and sometimes you can learn from that. And, uh, you know, I'm always open to that. That's, that's the engineer in me. It's like, well, you know, maybe we should measure it out. Maybe we should try it out. See what happens. Um, so there's this app called RedMed, and uh, thank goodness it's free. So you don't lose money on, on trying, this, trying this out. Um, and, and first of all, let me talk about screens and what I know about screens. Um, your screen on your phone and on your laptop and your TV, they've used the RGB system of pixels for a long time. RGB, red, green, blue, uh, just those three colors in different ratios and brightnesses and darknesses, that creates all the colors that you see on your screen. So you can make very, uh, especially now that pixels are very small, you can make very intricate pictures and all these different vibrant colors and it, it looks re really good but it's really only three colors and because our brain is so smart it stitches those colors together you know the, the combinations and you get the whole palette uh, you know all these different colors and so what happens with an RGB the red component is usually uh, of around 630 nanometers and I measured this um, you can I'll put it on the screen next to me um, I measured, you know, on a white screen, you can see the blue, the green, and the red peak. There's, you know, there's, that's it. There's all the colors. On a white screen, white con contains all the colors, all the wavelengths. Um, so on a white screen, you just see those three discrete peaks. That's the RGB. And so the red only is about, you know, let's say 630, uh, maybe a little less, maybe 625. Um, so I already measured that out. I'll post it next to me too. So I go into this app, this Red Med app, and like I said, on the Google Play Store, uh, it was free for me, so that was good. Uh, you can choose your color. You can actually choose different colors. I'm just going to look at red. Choose your brightness, and I already set, you know, I already made sure my brightness settings are all the way. I turned off my filters. There's also pulse, we can talk about that a little bit. And then there's duration. So it seems like, okay, you know, you can dose out red, and then you just press go, and you get a red screen. So, I mean, why can't I just, you know, put it, maybe put it on airplane mode so you're not adding some EMFs to you. Um, but it's a red screen, and like I said, it's a, maybe a little bit more of an orange red if, you're, if you can, if you look at it. And, like, I checked it with my spectrometer. Um, so, that's the two things you need for, you know, photobiomodulation. You want the right wavelengths, and you want enough intensity. And we talked about in a previous video about ambient red lights, just simple red light bulbs. You know, they're just kind of diffusing light in all directions. You don't really get that focused intensity that you want from red light therapy. That's, you know, this isn't really focus, it's just a screen, the light's going everywhere. Um, let's just see, I've got my brightness all the way up, we can check it out on my laser power meter. 
and I'm going to set it to 633. This is already pre-programmed uh, to be calibrated for 633. That's the default. Let's switch it to milliwatts and uh, let's check it out. So it's point, point oh two seven milliwatts. Point oh, I don't know if you'll see it. Point oh two seven milliwatts. Hopefully, hopefully you can see it. And that's trying to get the sensor as close as possible to the screen. And so again, uh, there is a limitation that you know point oh two milliwatts. It's probably not going to be enough, and we can divide by the sensor area. Um, it's 0.636, so 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.636, you get 0 0.03 milliwatts per centimeter squared. All right, yeah. So three hundredths of a milliwatt. Per centimeter squared. So again, very, very, very low. So you can, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. You can have this app on you for an infinite amount of time. There's not going to be any photobiomodulation uh, intensity wise, right? And so, you know, we could do this with a screen or, or, or a laptop screen, but this is just a demonstration that. Um, you know, you need, there's a certain threshold of intensity. Maybe we don't know exactly where, but it's probably going to be, you know, a couple milliwatts, five milliwatts. It depends on what you're doing. Um, but, you know, this is, doesn't get anywhere close. Um, you know, there is an interesting feature on Red Med. Like I said, the hertz. Um, so I can change it to 10 hertz. Um, you know, just a little... Uh, Warning if you have photosensitivity or seizure triggers with uh, flashing lights, but I'm going to be back here and like I said, there's low intensity. You can read uh, some of my blogs about flicker, uh, but 10 hertz and I'm all the way back here. It's not going to take up your whole screen. So it's going to flicker. Hopefully at 10 hertz, I can uh, actually check this with one of my flicker meters to see if, if it's actually at 10 hertz. And you know, sometimes, like I said, you can set it to one thing and who knows what it's saying. But let's say this is 10 hertz. All right, let's stop this. Let's say it's 10 hertz. That would be really neat because 10 hertz, uh, you know, that resonates with our alpha waves of our brain. And, you know, even if you're kind of looking at it, as long as you're not creating any kind of uh, photosensitivity triggers that could help kind of synchronize through your eyes into your brain and give you some brain wave entrainment. So that would be neat. And then I think I can even go up to 40 hertz. I don't know, can I type it in? I have to tap it. Come on. Oh, it doesn't. Seems like maybe 30 hertz is the max. I can't go any higher. Unless my fingers aren't working. So 30 hertz is the max. I was going to say 40 hertz would be neat because that's gamma. Um, I can't go up there. So anyway. Not enough intensity. Maybe you can use it for some brainwave entrainment or just to pulse yourself for a little bit of like weird hypnosis. Um, but you know, don't don't let if you try to use it and be like, oh, I tried red light therapy on some app. Red light therapy doesn't work. No, it doesn't give you enough intensity, and that's that's one of the key things. Intensity, wavelengths. Um, like I said, RGB. You're never going to get longer wavelength reds. You're never going to get near infrareds, uh, you've just got that shorter 630 nanometer, you know, 625, 630 nanometer wavelength, which is okay, but again, you need the intensity too. Um, so hopefully that helped clarify. Uh, you can't really get red light therapy from a screen. It's a good kind of exercise so we can test it out and test, you know, learn a little bit. Um, but unfortunately, you can't get red light therapy from, from an app or, or a screen or whatever, but maybe you want to play around with um, tinting your, your screen red so it filters out the blue. That's better for your eyes in the long run because there's too much blue in the screen. And maybe, uh, you know, you want to, um, you know, switch to some red ambient bulbs because it's better for your eyes at night. 
uh, and it helps set the mood for sleep. Uh, but again, those aren't specifically photobiomodulation, it's more of a circadian rhythm kind of benefit. So there's a lot of layers why red, red light therapy is great, uh, just don't let the apps confuse you. All right, well, thanks for tuning in.